Hello, welcome back to another video. Right, okay, so Brookside has been on STV Player 4 two weeks now, and it has currently smashed 1 million views on the streaming channel. Behind me is Lime Studios, and there is the old Brookside Parade. Now, I thought I'll come down to Brookside close and do the intro for this video, but I thought while I'm in the area, why not just drop around to Lime Studios and just film the video at the back of uh, the old parade. So recently, I got sent a link by a subscriber, Helen Jones, and she said, have you ever seen this storyline? And up until now, I completely forgot about it. And it was an outbreak of some virus in the close. And it was so reminiscent of the lockdown and COVID-19 and stuff like that. There was things like face masks. They were asking for face masks, uh, social distancing, have you washed your hands and all that. Now, the YouTube clip you're about to see is put together by someone called Glad You Remember. YouTube channel called Glad You Remember. The main clip's still a copyright to Channel 4. So as I say, with views smashing 1 million, now fans are sort of crying out for a remake of Brookside. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think it's just best left watching what we've got at the moment. So yeah, but today's video is just really about did Brookside close or Brookside predict COVID-19? <laughs> Unpredictable, very contagious little bugger. Have you been keeping those hands of yours clean? The bionic plague! Bring out your dead. Bloody hell, a killer virus. It's often said this. A plague round here. I want this whole area cordoned off. Just leave the milk there, will you, mate? Bit of a problem on the close. It's only a virus, isn't it? It's just a bit of flu. Why could you spread the virus? More people sick or dying? So it's one rule for us, is it? I've had the virus and I'm over it. I've got the all clear now. There's helicopters and all sorts out there. Do you know that? It's the army keeping us in. We're all part of some experiments or something, do you know? Who's it going to claim next? Where in God's name is it all going to end? I want some of those face mask things. You know what doctors wear? You can get them. I've just been talking to the communicable diseases guy. Now, there's been no new cases for three days, so it looks like we'll be able to lift the cordon. I think it was rats myself, like the bionic plague. I reckon it was rats eating away at that body under Irene's patio. Hey, don't come too close. But how do we know it's safe? Yeah, I mean, the virus could still be incubating in whatever it is they incubate. Bloodstream. Well, all our tests have been negative throughout, so it looks like they've given us the all clear. Well, if there's nothing to be alarmed about, why are they still wearing masks? Well, just for their own protection, Ron. I think we'd have all gone mad if that quarantine had gone on any longer. I reckon that the minutes of this meeting should be sent to the government. This can't be allowed to happen again, Bing. No, you're right, Ron. I think Parliament should be informed of what we've all been through. Never mind Parliament. We should send this one straight to John Major. Because if it is a cover-up, people well, he might know anything about it. It's a fact that there are millions of unknown virus strains throughout the world, and the medical profession cannot be sure where, if, or when another could strike. I know it's claimed it's victims, but we really should be counting our blessings. Things could have been much worse. We can't live our lives in fear of this happening again. I mean, we could be knocked down by a bus tomorrow. I think we must just appreciate how lucky we are and carry on where we left off. Right, so just before we end the video, I'll quickly show you around the back of Lime Studios. Now, I've done a video on this in the past, which I will link in the description, and also link in the card in the top right-hand corner. So what you've got here is the old Brookside Parade, now used for Hollyoaks. You just see those distinctive sort of uh, pillars that you, you'd get from the parade. So what you've got here is the old Grange Hill School as well. Quite muddy on the half feet here. See what you can get in these little bushes here. Have a look. Yeah, so that used to be Grange Hill, or where Grange Hill was filmed. Um, that's obviously used for Hollyoaks now, like I don't watch Hollyoaks, but quite interesting nonetheless. No, we'll bother going around there, because I've been around there in the past. That's in the last video, so 
see if we can have a little look. See if anyone's filming. No, can't see much there. Um, just see through that. Well hidden. No, I can't see through there. So anyway, yeah, that's the old parade anyway. That used to be the old petrol station. Now I think it's a props department. Let's go back around the back. You can always see it better when everything dies off. Yes, the petrol station used to be here. That's the main parade. Grants used to be there and Ron Dicko's shop and that. The pizza hut used to be there somewhere. That used to be the cut through. I'll just show you exactly where I am. There. Monkey Island. Horses burial plot. Lime Studios is it. So what I'm going to do before I end the video, I'm going to take a walk down the side of Lime Studios, and I'll just show you a couple of bits and bobs. Again, it's in the last video, so some things may have changed, but well, I'll take a look anyway. Props. Do you see something there, Chester Herald? There's a fake sort of setup there as well. Stop, you are shooting off the set. Yeah, at one point you could sort of look down there, but they put a false wall there now, so you can't see down. And this is the jail that was in the last video. You can see there. It did have a sign on the door, but I think they've taken it off. Do they still use that? I don't know. I don't watch Alioke, so I wouldn't know. And that's the sort of court area for the jail. You can just see a phone box up there as well. And a sign there. Last time I was here, there's some props there as well. I think there's a couple left actually. Yeah, there's a boat, some sort. Yep, so there you have it. Uh, Lime Studios. Not that the video was about Lime Studios, but I just thought I'd show you. As I mentioned anyway, it's in the last video, or the video I'm going to link up, so have a, have a look at that as well. Quite interesting, because it's about sort of surrounding areas and stuff like that, so... Oh, knackered. Right, so that was a little look around the back of Lime Studios. As I say, some of the old parades still remains. Um, so big thanks to Helen for sending me the link, and big thanks to Glad You Remember for putting our clips together. Certainly saved me a job. So how mad's that? It's like, how close was that to what we sort of went through a couple of years ago you know face masks social distancing hazmat suits you know sort of cordons around the air and stuff like that so let me know in the comments what you think just a bit of fun so yeah cheers for watching and i'll see you later